Uh, good evening and welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. As you guys come into the room, please hit the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I hope that you guys are doing okay on today. I know that I am. I always express the importance of hitting the like button because the like button helps to keep the video on the algorithm. Okay, so like, share, subscribe, comment, all of those great things. Okay, I want you guys to know how much I appreciate you so much. All of the old subscribers, all of the new subscribers, all of the future subscribers, I appreciate you so much. Shout out to shout out to everybody, okay? But I definitely want to um, send a, a a big shout out to all of the, I guess they're called Alabamians because they've been uh, coming in in record numbers and showing love. I appreciate that so much. Shout out, okay? to all of the new orleans because i've been getting quite a few people from new orleans which is which is awesome because i love new orleans you know i, I, I love alabama too i like birmingham i've been to birmingham i like birmingham um but i love new orleans i got friends down there i love the bounce music i love the food so shout out to definitely the memphians everybody texas everybody you know um chicago um my family has been coming in here from out of Indiana. Shout out to them. Shout out to um, uh, the people out east, like around New York, uh, Philly, Delaware. I have quite a few people in here from Delaware. One of my moms is from Delaware. Merry Christmas um, to everyone. I appreciate you guys and your support for this channel. It absolutely means everything. Okay, to me, you guys absolutely rock. As I always say, this is the real grown folks channel. We agree to disagree and move on, okay? And, um, you know, in 2024, 2023 um, was one of those, and I'm going to get into what I'm going to talk about, but it was one of those years I was thinking about. I was talking to uh, Demon the other day. Y'all know Demon is one of my moderators, one of my friends. And I was like, you know, I was thinking about how I never had blood pressure issues and um, like this year, just folks on here, you know what I mean? Like just in their, their lunacy, it's a lot of lunatics on here. Okay. You know, uh, being stalked and uh, people wouldn't believe it. Those that are just coming in. So when my guards are up, because there's some people came in the other day and they were saying something and, um, my guards completely went up and it was like, no, 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 I didn't mean it like that. You know? It, I, I didn't know, though, you know, they weren't here for what has happened in the, in the past. But of course, some things are being worked on right now to ensure that this stuff ceases, uh, which makes me happy. But as I was saying, I was saying to Dima, I was like, um, and I know people probably feel like ain't nothing going to happen because they don't know who it is. Yeah, I know. And there's one female vlogger that is involved in this stuff. But, you know, jealousy is as cruel as the grave. OK, but, um, you know, other male vloggers, but one, you know, it's been quite a few females on here to violate me. Females that I had never even laid eyes on until I got tips on them, you know, what they was doing and, and how they was doing it. But there, I'm hearing this one female vlogger that has an obsession. Um, with me as far as trying to, uh, you know, being involved in these violations. And so I want for people to know that, um, but she's going to go to jail too with the, with the men, you know, because like I said, that's being worked on. Okay. Um, so if I, if my guards and stuff go up and I seem, you know, um, you say something, people don't understand like what has happened in the past, but I was telling her, um, you know, um, one of the hardest things that I got to do, and I think I get kind of melancholy as the year ends, one of the hardest things that I got to do is I got to leave my father in 2023, okay? That's one of the hardest things that I got to do. I got to leave him in 2023, and I thank God today because, you know, we, um, on Christmas, on New Year's, we always go to a church service. And, um, you know, when the pastor was praying today and my mother had already talked to him about some stuff. And you know what? I, I realized that because um, I was angry at first. I was angry. I was I was really angry. I, I had a I know I was saying I was hate. I hate this vlog. I wish he'd die. And, um, 
you know, we was praying at church today because I'd heard that this blogger, I know people dealing witchcraft and voodoo was bragging about, yeah, we put a spell on our dad and this, this and that. And I think it caused me to have an anger. I mean, because he's already soulless and dead, really. You know, he, he's already dead. His body just hadn't caught up yet. But it, that's probably going to happen soon with his soul. But the, what the pastor had to remind me today was everybody has an appointed date and time. OK, and it's not like my dad's life was stolen from him. It was not interrupted by anybody else. Because, see, when people take folks out like they did young Dolph. OK, people have a tendency to say, well, it was just his time. God came and got no God and do that. God, them niggas was the devil. Those niggas was the devil. I don't ever put people like straight dropping them and your God in them um, in a God like position. No, they interrupted. Young Dolph's life was interrupted. My dad's life. Um, my dad died naturally. OK, he got sick. And he had, you know, diabetes and the doctor had been warning him for years and years. And, it, you know, my dad was an, an elected official in Memphis. And um, he would just go, 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 go. All he did was fight and and fight for other people and stuff. And um, he just, you know, even because my dad had started having like his toes and stuff amputated. You know, and I still thought, you know, OK, he's he's not eating right, but I did not know. And so my brother in law had said, you know, recently, because we all have been in an uproar, child, we've been going back and forth because I was so mad at, you know, we, we've we been mad at each other. But God, God is working things out. And um, um, he was like, my dad has said to him like a couple of years ago or yeah. Um, I don't think I'm a, uh, like a year and a half ago. I don't think I'm gonna be here much longer. I said, are you serious? So I remember my, you know, some, some things I think I started thinking about some things that my dad was saying to me, but he was say it passively, you know, cause he was a proud man. Okay. And even like with, with my, you know, my stepmother and, and some more people, um, Hey, people he 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 had been con he didn't tell them until the end and you know i guess what gives me solace as the pastor was saying you know when my father said to me i gotta go i can't stay here like this i done did everything i was supposed to do and now i gotta go and so you know hey I said all that to say this. I got to leave him in 2023, you know, but I don't have to leave the memories, right? We were able to make a lot of great memories. My dad was able to help and instill a lot of great things in us, you know, and I guess I said that to say this, you know, I'm not taking, I'm not going into 2024 with no junk. I'm not, I, I'm not going to carry that heaviness um, into 2024. And so when you get sent out to come at me, we're working on these hackers, 100. And there's going to be a lot of people who working with them that didn't even bother me to go down because it's an organization because you got a few people obsessed with me. I told it, the, 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 um, the investigator, I said, hell, they act like I'm Beyonce or some damn body. Shit. I mean, it's other women on here. Leave me alone. But see, when people get comfortable with doing things, they don't know how to stop. And I guess that's a good thing. Right. But I mean, I ain't worth you losing everything and going to jail, you know, but jealousy is as deadly as the grave. That's the word right there. But I'm not taking a lot of this craziness into 2024. Um, I've never had a lot of chaos in my life. I, that's not how I live my life. I do understand there's a lot of people on here and, you know, they get a more a, a lot of people around them that are weak minded that they can send out and they go, I've been a damn fool. I ain't never been nothing my whole life. And I get a bunch of damn fools that's off of their medicine to do what I want them to do. And they kind of run amok. Right. Um, when they're evil. I was listening to a vlogger say. And I, this is what we were praying about in church. And I know God is getting ready to do something because everybody came into agreement. 
But I was listening to a vlogger say one day, um, when you kill people, you look them in the eye. You look them in the eye when you're killing them. And it was just something that went over me. Like, I mean, you could just see the evilness. Okay, the 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 sickness, the evilness, and you know, um, and so the way you come up against demonic forces like that that is infected with evilness is that you go into the spiritual realm. I don't care how many times they go to Haiti, I don't care how many spells they think they put into the atmosphere, the only thing they're doing is automatically digging their own grave because the ones that they dug for me it ain't it's still vacant as a matter of fact it, they really dug it for themselves and i'm talking about anybody the grave that they dug for me is still empty they're gonna be the ones to fall in it and so i'm not taking all of that craziness into 2024 we're gonna still vlog about miss um we're gonna still vlog about young dog and we're gonna vlog about uh, other things because you know the thing about the young dog's case i'm not going to embellish i'm not i'm not going to get on here and i don't get mad if 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 somebody else get breaking news because nine times out of ten it ain't it's false okay um even with me knowing a lot of the people that's close to the young dogs case that's i'm talking about in the inside the investigators I, it, people kind of watch me and follow my lead they they get their members and stuff to get um um uh people the imps around them to get memberships because they want to follow my direction right oh is she talking about um um ceo bobby then uh it must be something going on motherfucker just say you a fan bitch instead of making yourself proven to the investigators because they still watching you that you are obsessed with me right a lot of y'all instead of saying i got this from tam or you know when you and the members make yourself known right we're in that healing process i might not even be mad at you i've been knowing you was a fan nigga make yourself known right but instead you have people that's infected with evilness uh that they you this is all that they've ever had and guess what you still can't beat me you still don't know everything that i know but because I'm a mentally sane person, I'm, and I'm just because I'm going to say this, I'm not going to allow a bunch of lunatics that's on medicine to send me to the damn crazy house. They on meds, they shell shocked a lot of them. They using what they learned in, with the U.S. government to get on here and hack. They get ready to lose everything they got going on. I hear them checks be good. You use your skills on here to hack. But see, that's that mental illness being shell shocked right for a bunch of crash dummies a bunch of old crash dummies right but 2024 is gonna be it's uh, you know i i'm 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 filing charges on you i'm getting a lawyer and i'm sending you a cease and desist and then we're gonna go forward okay that's 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 how we're gonna handle it i'm not gonna get on here screaming and hollering because i'm not gonna let you send me to the crazy house they want me on medicine like they are and they need to be taking theirs. Okay. So you understand it's going to be cease and desist charges, complaints filed for harassment. And then we're going to keep going on from there. I'm not going to play with y'all. Right. And guess what? I'm going to still talk about the young dog's case. And guess what? I still know more than you. Okay. So let's go ahead and move on, okay? And Merry Christmas to everyone, okay? Will Young Dolph get justice in 2024 for his assassination? Now, I know I'm going to spend 14 minutes going over that, okay? Um, will he get justice in 2024? I, I, I think that he will get partial justice in 2024. Um, I think he's going to get partial justice because... You have to understand the indebtedness of, of Young Dolph's case, right? I don't even know everything because my friends don't tell me everything. It's not, it wouldn't even be good for me to know everything as it relates to this case. You got people that's got money. That's, I don't know why they feel like putting hits on people, getting a bunch of damn med, fools that's on medicine um, that won't take their medicine and putting them on the internet to try and re, you know, and try and manipulate the case and misguide people it ain't gonna change nothing but we understand just like 
the government understands. I'm talking about the, the government, the people that's working the case understand is it's a it's some jewelry tampering going on. And when I say jewelry tampering, you put a bunch of damn fools on here that ain't never had nothing and get them to go. It was paper route. It was it 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 was CMG. It was this person, it was that person. So, you know, everybody understands that the jewelry pickings are going to lawyers do. Right. So, you know, these people that did this to young Dolph got money. So they get um, they get a bunch of damn chicken feet, chicken heads on here to um, or pea brains on here to that. That's never had anything. And this is the only way that they make their money. Right. And they'll do anything. They'll do anything. They're no better than straight dropping them. Right. And so you you start trying to confuse people. And, um, you know, a lot of times when people they do the jury selections and things of that nature, um, people will say, "Well, no, I don't know anything about the case," but they do. If Young Dolph's case has been too big, people have been consistently talking about it, right, for um, almost two for almost three years now. So it would be hard for a ju somebody to say, not unless they're a bunch of old white people. And I'm sure that straight drops in them attorneys and stuff are not going to want. A bunch of old white people on their case because they're gonna know they're gonna be through okay they're gonna try to get some people our age or younger that's african-american to be on their case right hoping um that you know or knowing in the back of their minds that they have probably uh made some type of decision good or bad based on what they they've seen and did not say right but we're praying to God that that don't happen. But I'm saying lawyers and stuff uh, do this all the time. So everybody know exactly what they're doing and, and, and why the people that are on here. But I think, you know, um, a lot of the other stuff that they've done, such as, um, you know, um, putting hits on people and um, trying to, to get other unsuspecting people in the public to give them information on folks. Who was that person out there? Who was that person out there? Who was that person out there? They're trying to get information because this person could be vital to try and intimidate this person because this could be a person that is a witness. And that's what a lot of these vloggers, they're going to be indicted when it's all said and done, right? But um, will, you know, he get justice in 2024? Um, partial. He'll get partial justice. I have to be honest. I know there are certain people that they won't. And um, one of my friends that said to me when I was talking to him, uh, probably about two or three weeks ago, and I was kind of talking to him about the young dog's case, and he's gotten very mum. And I have to say, when he gets very, very quiet, and he goes, uh huh, mm hmm, I tell you, well, yeah. It's something going on that he can't talk about, right? And then I said something about the FBI. He said, no, well, well, no, wait, let me say this. They're not allowed to do this, this, and that, okay? And I was like, okay, because I've been knowing them long enough to know how they do stuff. And then I worked for the folks I used to, so I, I know how, I, I know what I know, right? And so then uh, what gave me solace was when he said, well, you know, um, one of his case is one of those cases that is it'll get it's gonna be totally solved. He'll get total justice, justice. Eventually, you know it. It's is it might take a little minute to, for total justice, but he'll get it eventually. And then he immediately changed the subject, and I said, "Aha, motherfucker! I just gave you something else, bitch." I'm talking about these bitches that come and feed off of my energy because they know I got the juice. Okay. I just gave you a direction to go in. Okay. And and, I, and I'm gonna say this to some of these other people that are unsuspecting that have been, you know, coming over to my page. Um, you know, um, out of no nowhere, they they just started going at me. I, you know, I've heard some things about some of these folks. And I good or bad, I don't know. Because when people tell me stuff about some of these folks, I say, well, look here, call Crime Stoppers. Because, you know, I'm call Crime Stoppers. It'd be best to put that on record. And so then when I see them all of a sudden just come at me sideways, I go, dog, you know, where did that come from? Because I already know it's a group of vloggers, you know, that that want to work against me because they working with CMG and, and, and their affiliates. 
But, you know, it makes me believe my guards are going to go up when you come at me sideways out of nowhere. That is true. Or that you working with them. OK, so don't don't ever come at me sideways because I'm going to tell you something. I ain't going nowhere. I'm going to be on here. I ain't in no sector. I ain't in the doll sector. I'm in Tamara's sector. OK, when I was in college, I didn't I didn't want to get in no sororities because I, I I I just don't. I don't believe I don't, me personally. I don't, I just don't get down in stuff like that. Leave me alone. Now, if you want to come over here and be cool with me, Hey, I ain't got no issues with that. Cause I'm a mentally sane person, but as far as trying to get in circles and stuff like that, leave me alone. I ain't, I'm not with that. I'm on here to blog and, and that's it. Okay. But when he said that to me, you guys, um, it gave me a lot of solace. It gave me a lot of solace because I, I, I knew at that point that he, he really knew for real the real issue, that they really know who the real issue is. And he, he knows. They know. Okay. And he's, he's up in rank. I, I just, I knew at that point, I just, I knew at that point without a doubt, I always knew, but I knew with, I knew without a doubt, you know, um, that they was, they're, they're working at something. And as I said, you know, um, he's always passively mentioned other people whose names have come up, you know, so do I think that he'll get justice? And I know I've said it quite a bit. I ain't been on here. Y'all know how I am. I have to talk. I don't I done really just gave y'all a whole lot. That was this. This has been loaded, right? I'm just talking about just saying a whole lot, right? This has been loaded, but I think it's necessary, you know. Um, yeah, he, he's going to get justice. And I always say just just wait patiently because we don't we don't want it to be a microwave justice. I've been saying this since I came on the scene before I even knew, you know, um, as much as I know now, um, it can't be a microwave justice because it runs deep. And I don't, I don't believe, I don't, um, that the majority of the people, even if there are some plants, you can never say that there aren't, but everybody is not. Um, I got an auntie that works down there. As a matter of fact, I got two. One works right in the midst of this. I, I dare not. And I see my aunt today. I dare not ask her anything about this situation. Okay. Because nobody else be able to say, as a matter of fact, everybody know who my auntie is down there. My auntie don't tell me nothing. Okay. So you, so, okay. Go on somewhere. All right. <clears throat> Shout out to my auntie. She go. She was just, she was promoted a few months back. Okay. But yeah, you guys, I um, I definitely um, I he's gonna get justice. Um, he'll get justice. On on down the line, you know, and it's not gonna take thirty years. It, it's not going to take thirty years. And I know we get to thinking about Tupac, and it took thirty years for Tupac. Everybody knew what had happened to Tupac, but everybody was trying to hide what happened to Tupac. Ain't nobody trying to hide nothing here. Ain't nobody trying to hide anything, you guys. Okay. Um, people say that, you know, MPD officers are, are involved. Okay, so what they need to do is they need to um, tell who the MPD officers are. Right? Don't let people tell you, well, you know, MPD officers involved. Who is it? Give us the names because we, we want to expose them. Okay. We do. We definitely want to uh, expose them. So if they can't tell you the names of the officers, right? And if they, if they do start putting out names like they did with Caroline, I think they had to stop because Caroline, um, it's some stuff happened behind that. Uh, Caroline, I wasn't one of Caroline's biggest fans. I, you know, I've worked in the same office with Caroline. She was working a general assignment and felony response was in the same office. I, you know, I mean, she was not like one of my cups of teas, you know, 
Um, I ain't have no issues with her, but she just wouldn't, you know. Um, but I don't believe that Caroline will risk, especially with all of the different entities that's involved in this. It's a lot of different federal entities, at least two that I know of that's in, no, three that's involved in this young doll situation. Caroline will be a damn fool. Her husband got that big church over there. She close to retirement. She'll be a damn fool to be trying to uh, lose all that and go do some federal time just to be trying to cover for some people that's going to go to jail anyways. You know, so don't let people put that into your head. And I don't, you know, like I said, she will, you know, I ain't, you know, she all right, you know, but I ain't gonna lie on her. I'm not gonna lie on nobody for views, but of course I have other things going on in my life. This don't pay my bills, so I'm I'm not going to make it grand, you know. I'm I'm not going to manipulate, right? But anyways, you guys, shout out to my moderators. You guys definitely gotta. Um, every time I went to the to the um, to the post office, y'all, the lines were so long it was ridiculous. But I got some stuff going out for some people, but and and we still. I'm going to go over there to the, I'm waiting on one of my sponsors, a person that's one of the companies that sponsored my show is going to write me a check. So, um, and I'll be able to go and get some jogging suits for the people I chose. I can't believe I chose a, a senior's home that's got a hundred and I think 34 people. I was like, Lord Jesus. But I guess it was just meant to be right. But anyways, you guys, I have I really do appreciate you guys. I have enjoyed my Christmas, of course. Um, my daughters and stuff, my mom and them, I told them, I said, I don't want no clothes, I don't want no jewelry, I don't want nothing. Okay. All I want, if you're gonna give me something, um, you can't give me nothing I ain't already got. But if you're gonna, I'm talking about as it relates to clothes and shoes and all that, I don't want no more. I, I'm just I don't have no more room for a lot of this stuff. I said, give me something um, that's going to help my business, right, um, that I can use in my business. And I started a new endeavor. I added a new situation, a, bit, a new um, service to one of my businesses. And my mom and my sister and them, um, it was going to cost about one of the things cost three hundred dollars. And the other was going to was I was looking at and I was getting ready to order it. And it cost $799. So um, I was going to order it. And I was like, I'm going to need that. I'm going to need that. I'm going to need another one situation so that if I travel, I can have it. It, it automatically uh, connects to the uh, branch, branch of the TBI. And so while I'm traveling remotely, and so, um, you know, I don't have to be at the office. And so I was like, dog, I want to order that. And um, I was getting ready to do it. And my mom said to me, what was the name of that thing you said that you wanted? And I said, um, which one? She was like, you were saying you wanted something. Oh, OK. And then she just kind of played it off. And I was like, maybe I should wait. And um, God is so awesome. They actually got me two of the three things. So all I got to do is just buy one. So that's just awesome you know so i had a great time with my family they was happy with what i did um my mother got a brand new stove um we did some more stuff for her kitchen she got a new refrigerator uh coming in child they delayed on the woman's refrigerator i mean she's just overly excited you know about that next year the girls and i and my sister have decided we're going to start updating her restrooms in her house they're not old and messed up or anything but it's been that way since she has lived there since, you know, I was a teenager, right? And so um, we're going to start updating her restroom. So that's going to be a surprise to her. But I hope that you all had a Merry Christmas. Start making your New Year's resolutions. And instead of making it a resolution, make it a lifestyle, you know. Keep praying for Young Doll's family and all of that good stuff. And um, just keep praying for the people that is on the case. Instead of putting negative forces into the atmosphere, what you got to do is you got to um, start praying, God, even if this, if there's an investigative, there's a plant in, in the bunch, change his heart because we want justice. See, prayer changes things. So don't let people frustrate you and to speak negativity into the atmosphere. Start going up against that negativity with prayer and don't let people 
you know, um, ingest, if I'm saying that right, ingest um, negativity into your spirit, okay? I got to make sure I said that right, because see, I be, I, I like to make sure, okay, that's why I said that right. Don't let people ingest, you know, negativity into your spirit, uh, spirit. And then once they ingest it into your spirit, you digest it. It's a you sw start swallowing that stuff. It come it becomes a part of you. All that negative thinking, all of that doubt and stuff. It's going to take a lot of people that are positive to bring this situation through with Young Dolph, right? So let 2024 be that year to start being supportive. Mia J has out a it's on my uh, Real Talk with Tamara page. She has out a um. Um, I forget what it's called. Where you sign Justice for Dolph? Okay. Um, she's she's got out a campaign, you know, Justice for Dolph, and she needs you all signatures. So make sure you all sign that. And um, yeah, make sure you all sign it. See, this is how we be proactive. You know, not being negative, not listening to the lies and and the BS, and letting people send you out. You know, knowing without a shadow of a doubt. Um, that he's going to get justice. His family, his artists had nothing to do with his death. We can't be double-minded. We know where it came from, right? So if you know where it came from, you can't turn around and put it on this family. That's double-mindedness, right? The Bible speaks about that. So you just got to know and, and, and have faith and stand on that. He's going to get justice, you know? Even if it looks like he ain't, you got to know that it is because the devil, the devil uh, jump all on their social medias and stuff. They got to make you think they winning, but they ain't. OK, they're not winning. I promise you they're not. They wear it every day. OK, but anyways, you guys, y'all enjoy the rest of y'all Christmas. I got a report to do, child. I got a report. I got to turn in. Um, in the morning, ain't that something? So I got to make sure I start on that tonight. But I did bring some of my mom's food home. But yes, will Young Dolph get justice in 2024? I believe he's going to get. Well, we already know with that for a fact that he's going to get partial justice. The other justice, um, you know, as far as the 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 very person persons that you all want, even if it takes time, it's going to happen. Okay. But anyways, you guys, I ain't going to hold you no longer. Um, I want you guys to please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like to support the channel, you can definitely support the channel via Cash App. I love you guys. Have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night.